Well, we have a beautiful day today and we're going to be putting pineapple right in the middle of this flower bed. So uh, let's go have a look to see what we need. Somewhere to set out. This is what the pineapple hopefully will look like. Uh, these are all the other parts that make up the whole one, which uh, have all got to be set out on the board. Uh, they're all got to be individually cut and uh, hopefully all go together uh, with the reinforcement that you see in there. Uh, these are the tools and materials that I'm going to need. I've got the sand, the mix or the whisk, uh, the lime, plasticizer and uh, red cementone because I'm going to mix up the red mortar. Uh, then we have my hand tools, a few power tools and then a lot of setting out gear inside that one. And of course, last but not least, good music. So with this one, all we need to do is chamfer a little bit all the way down so that we've got enough room for the rod to come through and to grow to it, obviously. So we're just going to take a little bit off each of those. So this is the course is going to be the problem because obviously this has to go the other way up. Um, but just for me to see what I need to do, I've got it upside down, but you can see uh, when this does go up that way, it's just going to have the tendency to want to pull away. So this is the next course, and you can see that they go within the pencil line that we had from the previous course. But you can see here that they don't run square. So where we had our pencil mark through the centre there, you can see that this one does need trimming. And because if we get the other ones, you'll see that they will definitely not fit. There's no way that that's 90 degrees. So the fourth one, it's not gonna fit. So you can see, again, these will all just need like trimming up on the edges. And again, just a little bit uh, cut out in the middle for the rod to come through and grout to go in. So we'll get cutting again and see how this looks. 
Right, so for the next course, we have these ones, which uh, they are the ones that start to taper. And you can see that the angle that these are cut at, or moulded at, um, they don't meet up with the centre or striking point. So you can see how I've just marked um, from the outside to the middle where I've got a cut. So you can see that if I try to put these together as they are, they are completely, completely the wrong radius for um, uh, what we're trying to achieve. So I'm going to have to cut all of these this way. So I'll mark each one individually to the centre, from the outside to the centre there, get them cut, and I'll put them all together, make sure they fit, um, before we go on to the next one. So with the last one's cut, we can see that we now have got seven of these in um, to keep with our radius of the previous one down below. Um, what we need to do now is just measure the distance of this one so we can transfer that one down and then set the, the final um, load of cut out on there. So um, that's what we'll do next. So before we take it to pieces, let's do a check because these are quite irregular. 320, 325, <laughs> as much as 340 there. So there is a little bit of a discrepancy on these, but we're going to go for the average of 340. So we're going to use 340 as our next radius. And one thing before I take this uh, to pieces, I like to keep things um, as they are. So I'm now going to number these. So when I put them back together, I put them back in the same order. So obviously, PPE. So here we have everything ready. We have the base, then the next two sections, obviously these have got to be flipped over. And then we have the first part of the cuts, and the second part, and then the cap. And they're all gonna go on that little plinth there. So we're now gonna mix up. And um, again, when we come to lay this section, we will need obviously to um, put some timber around and keep it upright to enable us to um, do the rest of it without all form of pieces. So uh, hopefully that should go okay.
Well, the pineapple is complete now. It's a Friday afternoon. It's lovely and sunny. So I think we should get out in that thing on top of the car there.